everybody, Frank Mayer here. Um, I'm actually going to go over my guillotine. Um, uh, everybody has different ways to do it, and, uh, and I think that that's not so much the, uh, the concept I'm going to go over. But uh, in the fight against Czech Congo, I felt to my back to go for a guillotine. Um, the one concept I really want to hammer home on everybody is that the reason why I don't pull full guard when I go for a guillotine. In that uh, particular fight, we were against the cage, I had already knocked him down, he came up. Um, the reason why I don't feel a full guard guillotine is all that effective, it can be, but the problem is, is that it's a commitment that now you're on your back, if you miss it, and your opponent's in your guard, and they can rain down and, and really turn the tides. And not that I don't mind being in my guard, but I want it to be under my decision, and not that you lost a position and now I'm on my back. So, if I lock up a guillotine, on Jonas, um, I do all the simple stuff with an arm, uh, just, a, just a guillotine, just without an arm, that anybody else does. I lock up the, uh, the choke, I make sure that my other arm is elbow high, I'm driving the hips, all the normal stuff to put the pressure on the corroded arteries. But the next thing that I do is that I make sure that when I fall down to finish this, I don't pull full guard. I preferably put my shin across. I just ran out of room because of the cage being so close to me. I think in the fight, I ended up stepping over his leg and then had my foot ready to block. The reason why I do these type of holds, and preferably this one is my favorite, I put my shin inside so I have pressure to squeeze and pull, and then I put my foot on their back. And now, same thing that everybody else does, the other elbow goes up high, I twist, I squeeze. The great way of this is though, if I miss the guillotine or he rolls off, I can get up on top, but he's not gonna trap me down. I have different positions I can go for now, whether it's an omoplata, whether it's just a regular stand up, I don't like what I see, I start moving my hips back out. I have a way of bailing on the move so that I'm not committed. Whereas if I lock up a guillotine and I pull full guard, Oh, come back, I'm sorry, size difference. <laughs> now, if I squeeze and pull, one, I have less room to drive. If Jonas defends it properly with his hips up in the air and drive pods in, well then now all of a sudden I break the guillotine and now he's in a good position that the judges deem that he's winning right now. I have to now fight out of this, go for submissions, sweeps, or stand-ups, but now I've given him, given my opponent a dominant position in the eyes of the judges. Very few judges consider being in the guard advantageous for me, and I'm losing points over the fact that I went for a submission. Whereas if I was letting him pass, he pulls his head up, he's not in the control position yet. I miss it, I can post my hand, my foot's blocking his hips, I can start twisting down and be able to remedy the situation. So that way, now I have a technique in my arsenal that if I miss, my worst case scenario should be we're neutral again after a scramble. Not worst case scenario, I went for a submission, went to my back, and now my opponent's on top of me with ground and pound, and I look dumb, you know, and the judges are marking me because how much did they weigh that submission attempt? Two, now they're weighing that my opponent's on top in a dominant position throwing punches. So that's been my mentality now with submission attempts is make sure that at worst case, we're neutral. Best case, I go for a submission and I'm still on top of you afterwards or I'm able to get on top because of the way I secure your body. So that's uh, my stuff. If you guys like it, uh, my official fa uh, fan page on Facebook is the official Frank Mir. Snapchat, or not Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter is the Frank Mir. And you can follow my twice weekly show I do with Richard Hunter, Phone Booth Fighting, which has its own Facebook and Instagram, Phone Booth Fighting. Snapchat and Twitter is just Phone Booth Fight. And I also, too, I break down fights with the ACB now. Uh, at least twice a month, I'm out of the country, covering their shows, going over stuff. And then Jonas? Yeah, you can follow me on Facebook, Jonas Shark, or Instagram, Jonas Shark. Appreciate your help today. Thank you, guys.